Hello, I'm Brad Brim of Cadence Design Systems. Welcome to Sigurdy Tech Tips. Today we bring you another installment of How to Sign Off Your IC Design Package. Our video today will show you how to efficiently extract electrical models for low-cost IC packages made of lead frames. Many high-performance, high-cost IC packages utilize a multi-layer build-up structure. However, when IC designs are suitable, semiconductor companies prefer to utilize a low-cost, single-layer chip carrier known as a lead frame package. Because lead frame packages are physically much different than multi-layer packages, different analysis engines are required to model each type of package. This means IC package characterization engineers must run different tools for different types of packages. Switching back and forth between tools causes confusion, bad models, and possibly loss of business when customers receive models they cannot use. With Sigridi, modeling of IC packages remains consistent because characterization engineers remain in the same EDA tool regardless of package type. Our single environment provides access to all of the required analysis engines for any IC package, from a simple 20-pin lead frame to a complex 10,000-pin ball grid array. This enables getting high-quality models into the hands of your customers faster, which in turn leads to earlier sales and quicker profits. In this video, we will utilize Allegro Sigridi SI Base and the Package Assessment and Extraction option. To learn more about these products, visit us at www.cadence.com. Now, I will turn it over to my colleague, Charlie Xu. Thanks, Brad. This is Charlie Xu. I'm pleased to introduce Secret IM cross-site static solver for leaf frame package modeling in this demo movie. With the new cross-site static solver option in Extract IM, now you can access four solvers option in the same environment for different package structure. The workflow in Extract IM remains the same for different solver option. The cross-site static resistance inductance and static patterns can be selected separately altogether. The simulation results can be reused to generate the SPICE model. In Extract RM, there is a specific workflow for leaf frame patch modeling. It supports the DXF to SPD file synthesis. The components and the net list information can be automatically created for the leaf frame package. It also supports all lead profile setting to build up a complete 3D lead frame structure. Once the lead frame structure is built, the extraction step is the same as the other patch types. In Extract RM cross site static resistance inductance solver option for lead frame package, there are two IR results table. One is for full IR metric for the selected nest, the other is a self IR table. Those IR metric can be reduced by assigning some nest as floating, lump, or reference. Different reduced metric results can be displayed together to find out the optimal design. Simi similarly, in static capacitance iteration, there are two capacitance results. One is for full capacitance metric for the selected nest, the other is a self capacitance table. Low capacitance metric can also be reduced by assigning some nests as a floating lump of reference. Different reduced metrics results can also be displayed together to do what if analysis. When selecting both cross site static resistance inductance and static capacitance solver option together, it provides more comprehensive reports. In addition with the full RC metric and the self RC table, it also provides RC K based SPICE model and IBIS model for time domain transition analysis. In this demo, I'm going to introduce lead frame patch synthesis flow in the IM. Set up our lead profile to complete the 3D structure for traction and introduce quasi-static IRC iteration. Now we are in the RM environment. In the workflow, we are going to import the DSF file for the lead frame package. Cadence speed 
edit will be automatically opened up to handle the DSF to SPD synthesis. In this step, we are going to map the DSF layers to SPD layers, including inner lead, die, pad, and bounding wires. In this step, we set up the inner lead thickness, and here we select the inner lead object to be translated. Now the metal object selection is completed. The tool automatically create terminal to connect to the outer lead. On the four corner, we delete the undesired terminals. Now the synthesis is completed. Bonding wire and the inner lead layer is created. Now we are going to send back the SPD file to the tray IM. This is the bonding wire and here is the inner lead. That name is also created. Next, we are going to set up the package. This is a wire bound lead frame with other lead package. We set up the die and other lead components. In the layer stack up, we are going to add a layer for other lead and adjust thickness for die thickness, molding compound thickness. In the lead, here is to set up the outer lead profile. We adjust the outer lead thickness. Here is to set up the bonding wire diameter to a realistic value. Now the 3D structure is completed, you can check it in a 3D viewer. Save the package, package setup to a workspace file. Now we can select the critical nest to retrieve the RLC by quasi-static solver. We select add nest for this demo. We treat the middle die pedal as a folding mat. Click the field solver. By default, it is hybrid solver. We select the quasi-static IL iteration first study. Now the simulation is started. You can check the performance checker to monitor the memory consumption and the convergency situation. Now the simulation is completed, you can see the resistance and the inductance plus. You can also uh, see the IO metric and self resistance inductance. You can select the sum mass to set as the reference to 
reduce the matrix, and you can compare the original matrix and the reduced matrix. Now we are going to extract the capacitance by static capacitance solver. The patch setup is the same as the previous run. Similarly, you can check the convergence situation during the simulation. Now the simulation is completed. It provides the capacitance of plus and also the capacitance matrix self capacitance. Again, you can select some NAS as a reference, ground reference to reduce the matrix. And you can compare the reduced and the original capacitance matrix. Finally, we are going to use the existing result from previous simulation to generate the ROC SPICE model. The simulation is completed immediately. So now you can check the SPICE model, including T-type, Pi-type, IBIS model, and ROC table. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you for watching another edition of Sigrity Tech Tips. For information on products used in today's video, click on the links below or contact your local Cadence sales representative or Cadence channel partner.